Turn it off again. Let's see. That's one of my favorites. Pink, purple, blue. What color is this? Orange. I don't really use orange. I like yellow. This is yellow. I like this yellow better than this one. And I'm gonna use this gold. Eh, maybe I'll try something different. I never use black. I don't think it's really that much in here. Let's see, what color do we want to use for? I keep picking up all these black and brown ones. I don't know what drawing inks are. I've had this for a while. I don't know what drawing inks are. These? Let me see something right quick. Because I never. Oh. See, they're not even open. <laughs> Let me make sure. Hi, y'all. Hold on. Let me see what this is. This is for epoxy resin. Oh, this is for resin, y'all. I'm up here trying to use something. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's going to squirt. Watch. Can you use this? This says for epoxy resin. But I'm going to try to use it. I haven't used these before. Maybe I'll try these. Let's see. Hey everybody. I probably can't. I got all this. This is alcohol ink. This is the ones I always call them Easter colors. But y'all can't see these alcohol inks. I don't know which ones I'm gonna use. But I've already been playing with my um alcohol inks. I've been playing around on the wood just because I wanna see what I can do. I'm going to use the back of that one. I'm going to use the back of this one. Because I've really been playing around with this wood. I mean, you get six pieces for $1.50 at the dollar store. You see that has the gold on it? And it's going to be pretty when you put the epoxy on it. So, I just haven't done that yet because I'm still playing around. But let's play around with alcohol ink. So, what I wanted to do is because I got this tool, which y'all already know with my hands, that's not a good tool for me. But I have this too. And this, you're not supposed to shake it, and I keep shaking it because I keep thinking it's air in there, but that's Freon in that thing. <laughs> it's got to be Freon because it's so cold. And then I have this. So, hi, Deborah. Hi, Shawana. I'm forcing myself to get up because I don't want to be in a bed. But I do feel better than I did that day. I'm just forcing myself to... My brother-in-law just left. He's like, you ain't in the bed yet? No. I don't want to be in the bed right now. <laughs> the bed can be depressing, you know. So I got this thing. I got this from Amazon. And I got this. Which I was having trouble with trying to use this. Because it kept not coming out. So. And then I have this. Which is not... 
it doesn't move the alcohol like I want it but see with the alcohol ink you can actually um put it on the board and let it run its own the way it wants to run if you look at these the alcohol ink is going to run with the grain see I'm not doing this alcohol ink on ceramic or anything I'm doing this on this wood that you get from Dollar Tree and alcohol ink runs according to the way the wood goes so this is the wood pack I'm talking about from Dollar Tree I have this one I haven't used this one yet but I was thinking about maybe using this one because I haven't tried this one yet but whatever way the grain of the wood is going that's the way the alcohol ink is gonna go um and these are some boards that I have that were in the package. I don't like the way these look, though. They're kind of lumpy. So I'm just going to open this one. The thing about these is that um, you can't beat it. It's a dollar and 25 cents for six pieces of this wood. Although I haven't seen them in my Dollar Tree lately. I don't know. Hi, Jeanette. How are you, Saraya? Saraya. I can't even open this, y'all. I'm over here trying to get this open. So, let me find my handy-dandy scissors. And I was trying alcohol ink on photo paper. I'm not good with that yet. I really messed up some... The little things of photo paper. I'm not really good with that yet. So... I'm not even going to waste my time with that. But that's what this, uh, this is good to push around the ink, the alcohol ink on, um, the photo paper. They don't really do that good of a job to me on the wood, but that's me. Okay. I'm just, I'm really learning how to use these tools, but I did these. I think these are so pretty. The colors are so pretty. And you can you can move the ink you can move the ink around. Hey babe, my husband. Hi, how you doing? You can move the ink around, but you have to pour a lot of alcohol on the wood in order to get the ink to move around. You can't just put a drop of alcohol on there. So this is the alcohol that I was using. Oh. This This is 91% isopropyl, but some people say use 100%, but I use what I got. I use what I have, and for me to be experimenting, that's okay. And I have it in this little bottle right here where I can spray it. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Let me fill this up right quick. How's everybody doing, though? I was going to do a live earlier, but my brother-in-law came over, and it was loud up in here. All right, so I just filled up the little bottle. Keep it near me because this is a small bottle. And honey, you'll be using it. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use a fresh one. Okay, you got to look at the way the grain... If you're... Thank you, honey, for the super chat. You have to look at... um. If you're doing... Say you're doing coasters. You have to really look at the way the wood grain is going because that's the way the alcohol is going to flow. If you want all your inks to be going the same way, you got to make sure you grab some coasters where the inks, where the um, wood is going, the grain is going the same way. Okay. So this one, the grain is going this way. Well, I guess if I turn it around, it can go that way, huh? Duh. I never thought of that. If I turn it around, I can make it go any way I want it to go. So then basically what you need to do is make sure they're going the same way. Ciao. A light bulb just hit me on my head. Okay. So let me um turn this downward. Because I don't have my other... My other... um. Ugh. Child, I've been sitting at this table today just trying to do stuff. 
So I don't have my other, what you call the thing to hold your phone? Right, that one. Let me see if we can look at it from here, though. Let's see what'll happen if I, I can't. Let me look on my page and see if I see myself. <sighs> Why don't see live on here? Why I'm not live on my own page? I got to be live because y'all on there. It says upcoming. Why does it say upcoming? You guys are on there with me now. It says upcoming. Why does it say upcoming? Can y'all see me? I mean, can y'all see the alcohol? Why does it say scheduled? This is cuckoo. Let me see what's going on over here. Because I clearly see people responding. So how is it? I don't know what's happening. Your channel, let's see. Because it's not scheduled, that's dumb. Okay, now it says live. Because that was a little cuckoo. All right, okay. all right, let me turn the off of there. Okay, y'all can see that, right? I'm going to move it down. Let's see if I can move it down a little bit. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to move it down a little bit so y'all can see. This is my overhead one. I don't really like it for this project. So, hello, is it moving? It's a little delay in this thing, I see. Let me see if I can use the one from... If I can use the thing from... Y'all, my desk is toe up from the flow up because I didn't feel like doing anything. But I did want to come live with you guys. Let me see if I can use this one because I think you can see it better. If I use this, let's see. Uh oh, don't cut it off. Don't cut it off. All right, we're gonna try it this way, y'all, because I'm having issues with this. Let's see. Okay. See how it's gonna fall? I don't know why it's trying to fall now because. Can y'all see this? Y'all can't even see that. Hold on. I should have had this together before I came on with y'all. That's what I should have done. But you know. Should have, could have, would have, and didn't. Let's see. Can y'all see that? Okay. There you go. I think that's better. It's a good angle. Overhead, you thought overhead was a better angle? Shawana, you don't like this angle right here? The overhead angle seemed like it was so far away. All right, let me um change it back to the overhead. See, Shawana's a pro with this. I'm not. Let's see. This overhead one, my husband got me this last year, I think. <clears throat> I use it sometimes. All right, let's let me stop playing. Which angle you like better, the overhead one or the uh, the second one? Which one you like better? That overhead one just seems so far away. But we're going to start. So I'm going to use it going down like this. That's what I'm going to do. There seems to be a delay going on. Over. Okay. I'll leave it over. 
I will leave it over, honey chow. I want to see something though because this other ink right here, this says drawing inks. I think somebody sent this to me when I did a product review. Easy to use, highly concentrated. <laughs> Excuse me, I never used this one before. But it says you're supposed to use it with um, epoxy. But you know me. I'm going to try it. Outside of the epoxy. Yes, I am. They have the mixative right here. Advanced white. But that's really it. That really is for um, epoxy. So, I have red here. I have purple. Blue. Yellow. All these different colors that I'm going to try to use. It's a major delay going on. Like, what is the problem? What color is this? This is red. This is scarlet. This is pink. My favorites are pink, purple, and blue. As you can tell by the other ones that I've done, they're pink, purple, and blue. So, and yellow. Like these right here or pink, purple, and blue, and yellow. It's just something about those colors that I like. Plus, since I already did it, I can make coasters. <laughs> now, this one, yeah, this is going this way. You just got to make sure that whatever way you want it to go. Because if I do it this way and I drop it down like that, it's still going to spread this way. Okay? Okay. So let me start with purple. Purple. Can you say purple? All right. I'm going to do it two ways. One of them I'm going to do with the alcohol. What I'm going to do without the alcohol. Okay. So this one I'm going to do without the alcohol. But I'm going to show you that. Where's the little blower? What did I do with the blower? Here's the blower. You have to pour a lot of alcohol on here. Now, this is what I saw a lady do. Let me try that right quick. I saw a lady take her alcohol and she poured it in a little cup. Okay? I'm going to try it since I'm on here trying stuff. What you doing, hon? Oh. So, I'm going to pour some alcohol in this cup like this, right? And she actually took her alcohol ink and poured it in here. She poured the alcohol ink in there like that. Now I didn't try this before y'all, so don't 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 talk about me bad cuz I didn't try this one. And I don't have a stick. Come on, so I can mix it. All right, I'm going to swirl it like this because I don't have... Y'all, I'm not prepared. Y'all can tell. All right, so I'm going to pour some of this on here since it's going to be runny. I hope y'all can see this. I'm going to pour some of this on here like this. And we're just going to... We're going to learn. Y'all going to learn from me. See? It's not dark enough for me, though. I like my ink dark. And you see, when you don't... I don't like that way, y'all. It thins the color out too much. So I'm not going to use that. I probably had too much ink. We're not even going to do that one right now. But look how I'm saying... When you put, take the alcohol ink and you put it on there, you see how it follows the grain? You don't really have to do anything. You just take it and drop it on there, and it just does what it wants to do. It spreads how it wants to spread. That's what I love about alcohol ink, man. It just, look, it just does what it wants to do. Okay? Now I'm going to flip. 
I'm going to use this one because I messed that one up. Because I don't like that one that I did. I don't like the way that worked. Nope, nope, nope. Probably used too much alcohol. But let's try with this. We're going to make this pretty, okay? So I'm going to drop this on there and watch how the ink just does what it wants to do. Look at that. <laughs> it just drops and spreads. Look at that. You don't even have to do anything to it because it's just doing its own thing. Look at that. That's how you become creative with alcohol ink. You just drop it on. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't want to drop it like that. And some of this stuff is watery, kind of. So you got to watch what you're doing. You see how that just spread? And this is just dropping. It's, this is spilling all over my fingers. Look at this. I don't know where my wipes are, but this is spilling all over my finger. They don't usually spill like this. I don't know what's wrong with this one. It's like it's a hole in it or something. Doing too much. All right, let's try. That's probably enough purple anyway. Yeah, I'm done with this purple. Because it's just one to drip, drip, drippity drip. So set that over there. And this is my favorite pink right here. So I'm going to have to buy some more. So now I'm holding it up and it's running like that. But it can run too when it's sitting down. But I like for it to really run. I really get a kick out of doing this. If y'all can't tell. I hope y'all can see me. You see how I'm, I just, I like it when it runs by itself. There's really like no way when i this is what is why is everything leaking i've not had this problem at all look at this i hope this stuff comes off of me i don't know why it's leaking like this it hasn't done this on any other one so i use the pink and the purple now i'm gonna try the yellow hopefully the yellow won't get all over me let's see how that goes Ooh, that had the wrong top on it. Let's see how the yellow goes, y'all. So we wants to drop green because... Alright, I'm going to drop the yellow. And here we go. I'm dropping the yellow. And I'm purposely holding it up. So it can run. Now you can put alcohol. You can put alcohol on it if you want to, to try to make it spread a little bit more. It's a this thing is there's no right and wrong. You do it however you want to do it. Now when it comes down to close spots like this, and I don't want it to be too much, I try to lay it where I want it to go you see now this is coming out kind of fast even if I have it like this okay see how it's come I don't know why this ink is doing this all this time I've used this ink and it's never come out like this so I don't know what the problem is right now and some people might want to leave some of the white spots in there. But I just think this is super cool when you do it like this. It's just, I love alcohol ink when it does this. Y'all already know I love alcohol ink when it's in resin. See, I got a twofer on that one. These things are leaking on the side. I don't understand. When I made those other coasters, they didn't do that. Look at that. It's still doing it. And sometimes you might want to just leave the white on there. But I don't particularly care for the white. But this is kind of making me mad that it's doing all of that. Now, what you also can do is use... Let me put this in here because that, that was a bust. I like this gold. This is rich gold. 
Let me make sure. Let me fill up some more of these spaces though. I don't like all those spaces open. I didn't want to do it like that. Let me just see if I can get some of these white spaces. That can be cool if you wanted to have white spaces in it, but that's just not me. I'm trying to be gingerly with my application. I don't want it to go over the other colors for real. And that's what it's doing because it's being loosey-goosey over here. So, you know, I'm doing these. These are for the summer. Of course, you can use them whenever you want to use them. I'm just saying. I hope I'm in frame on this. I'm just trying to get the white spots for real. Okay. But, you know, art is what you see. There's no right or wrong. It's what you see. Okay? Those colors to me are very vibrant and they are so pretty. I really like the way these are my favorite colors. The yellow almost looks gold. I didn't use the orange. This is scarlet. All right, now this is the gold. So you can let it dry a little bit. And then you can take this metallic. This is metallic gold. And if you don't want it to get on your back, then you can clearly put some tape on the back of it so it won't get on there. But I like this. So you can take the gold and just, you could actually just make a design if you wanted to with this gold. It's kind of thick. You got to be careful because you don't really want globs. Now it don't want to come out. You want it, you know, if you want to make lines around it like that try to outline some of the colors with this metallic gold. I like it. So you could just do it different things to it. I could have made some kind of squiggly design or something like that. But you put it on there like that and then you just let it dry and put the epoxy on there. So I'm not going to do epoxy on camera unless I come back and do it because I need a whole setup for that. I got to have the tray and the dish for it to sit in so the epoxy won't run. So I'm not, not about to do that right now. But you see how these came out? Like this is a whole... You can make a set. They don't have to be perfect. You can make a whole set with the epoxy. I mean the epoxy with the um, alcohol ink. So if I turn this over... Let me put this back on here. If I turn this over, if you use too much alcohol ink, it'll make it blurry. And you don't really want it to be blurry. So you don't want to use too much alcohol ink. Remember when I did that pour? You see how that, it makes it look. Now that's lavender. I didn't want it to be lavender. I wanted it to be purple. But that's because I used too much alcohol ink. Okay? Okay. Now, this one, I'm going to do this on the other side, and this time, I'm going to spray. Can y'all see? This time, I'm going to spray, and see, my little bottle is full, so I want to start dropping colors on here. You see how it's running? You just want to start dropping. Darn it. 
I should be using one that's already open. Dropping colors while the alcohol is still wet. And you can let it run like that if you want to. Or you can get your little blower. And you can blow your colors like that. You see how that's blowing the color? right there then you grab your alcohol ink and you drop some more colors so i'm gonna drop that like that you're like oh you're using blue that's a lot of blue yeah but that's okay you see how that now i'm gonna turn it around and drop the ink over here because i want to show you something real quick I'm going to show you with the other thing, if it works. So this one, I'm just going to drop some red on here, okay? Got some red. Let the red run. Let the red. Now, this is the can. See? And I have a hard time. Can you see how that's pushing it? Now, if you put, you can't even tell that's red, but if you put the red right here like this on the dry spot without using the alcohol ink, you have to really hurry up and try to drop the ink and then move it like that. But you see the little lines through here? The lines are a little harsher when you do that. You put that, you see how fast it dries? So you don't even get a chance to blow it because it dries so fast. So that's why people use alcohol ink. Because you drop the ink. If you want to spray it, if you want to spread it, you have to put the alcohol down. And then take it and spray it. Like that. And then you can manipulate the ink to wherever you want it to go. See, and now we just don't want to, okay. You can tell the ink where you want it to go. And I'm not making any kind of design because I don't know how, to, I'm not good with this yet. But I just wanted to show y'all how it actually works with the, the alcohol, how you can spread it. Now this, I don't know about this this uh this gold because I never did it I never tried it with the gold the metallic this is metallic gold so that's what this this thing is hard for me to try to blow hey <coughs> mm, excuse me it's kind of hard for me to try to spread it with that and I haven't tried it with the alcohol so let me see oh okay okay oh oh I think I like that let me spread it with that with the air and the alcohol in the air you use the gold put the alcohol on there first then put the metallic gold on it one or two drops however you want to do it and then take your sprayer depends on how much pressure you give it yo this might be something y'all want to try I don't know if that'll spread now since it's already it will if you put enough ink on it I mean alcohol if you put enough alcohol on it and then attempt to spray it oh okay y'all oh I can think I know went out of frame and you spray that ink, spray the alcohol on there, and then spray 
the gold and let it go like that and then spray it oh you can spread it out and you don't have to make it as big again y'all i'm practicing but this is a little cool and it takes time i hear i did i done shook the daggone um can again you're not supposed to shake it i'm so used to shaking it let's see if i put some some blue on it see what the blue gonna do and it's funny because Oh, you can do some cool stuff with this. You just got to know how to use it. I told y'all I was practicing. You can make a really cool design with this because the ink, it doesn't like the really... The gold actually is a strong... It's stronger than regular alcohol ink because it's metallic. Now, you might want to go back over some of the spots that are weak looking or dry looking. So, this side right here is really going to be blue and gold because that red was not working out for me. And we could just let it. And the thing you need to remember is with this spray is don't shake the can. Okay, let's come back over here on this side. I'm going to put some more alcohol on this because I want the blue. See? See how you can just blow it like that? Blow it around. Y'all see this? How y'all feel about this? Did everybody leave me? And then you can take this alcohol and then make your little designs. You can actually highlight. It's up to you what you want to do. You got to play around with them. That's why I put in my title, Let's Play with Alcohol Ink, because I'm just trying to see how it goes. I feel like a toddler in a preschool trying to color for the first time. I don't think anybody's on. I don't see anybody saying anything. But that's how it was. And you get to spray it how you want and pour it whatever color you want to use. And this is me using. Oh, I like that even. The burst of air with this. You saw how that did it? You see how it spreads the gold around and make it do different designs? Oh. I like that. Look how it's making it. Okay. Oh. Okay. What I do with the gold? Put a drop of gold. Let's 
somebody might say this is very amateurish and it is because I'm learning but I'm liking the way I like the way this blower this hand blower I like the way it moves the gold around better than the spray I really do like that better because this spray is whatever it is. Oh, no, drop it. Look at that. I like the way this moves that gold around better. You really can control the gold better with that. I'm going to put one more. Y'all can tell when I'm really enjoying it because I'm, I keep saying I'm going to stop and then I don't. See how it moves it around better because you can get in closer and move it and to somebody that probably look like a whole mess but it's all the process of I'm trying to learn so I see if you if you can do a burst like that and I'm moving all around but I like it it's crazy but I like it so once I learn to do this better, I'll be able to control it better and make a, a nice background, like um, a sunset or something like that. But I'm just learning. Look how it moves. I like how it makes, it pushes the gold out to make it like a line, like a design over there. So, I don't know if there's anybody still on here or not, but look at this. Look how you can just push it around and the gold is just in there. The gold, see how that gold is doing it? So you're making nice little patterns with that. Child, you could be here for days playing with this stuff. It's the gold for me because you it's moving around, it's blending, but it's moving around. So it's not so harsh. I'm just going to put some more. See how it's making the, the gold more defined? Now, I'm not an artist, y'all. I'm a crafter, but I like the way that it spreads that golden. These colors might not be doing much, but I'm, I'm learning. I'm just doing stuff with this because I don't know what to do, but I'm doing it. And the gold is still moving. Look at that. The gold is still moving. You can just keep pushing this gold around and making it do different things. Now the gold been down there for a while, but it's when you put the alcohol on it, it still moves. 
I'm going to put another drop right here, though. Come on. Just want it to move around. There you go. See how it's moving? Now it's not like solid blobs, but you literally can push it around. I think I'm going to sit here and play with this tonight. And see how I can make that go. Look how that it did it. Now that go right there. I don't want to move too much. There you go. Make it work for you. Like I don't have a pattern in mind. I'm just trying to figure out how this is working. Look at that. From the way I see it over here, you can see some of the outlines of the gold, but you have to take a drop of gold and go back over it again if you wanted to have like outlines. And I'm holding it at an angle and blowing it like that. Now some people blow this with straws. They use a straw to blow. But baby, if I had to depend on my lungs and now my hand is tired so I can't really blow it around like I want to. So this is ugly really ugly hi amber i can't stick around but i've been praying for you girl thank you so much amber hi friends sisters <laughs> this is hideous but i'm learning how to work with the alcohol ink in this blower and the other blower so You don't have to tell me that it's ugly. I know it's ugly. It's, it's terrifically ugly. But in case anybody wanted to use alcohol ink and learn how to do it, you could just get you a piece of board from... Um, Dollar Tree and play around with it. Thank you so much for your prayers. I need them. I appreciate them all. Because lupus is no fun. So this is my art piece that I hate. <laughs> for sure. Well, I definitely got to clean my hands. Before I go to bed, my hands are horrible. This my alcohol ink never runs like this, and for some reason it just ran, ran, ran. Okay, y'all. That's really all I wanted to do. Wanted to see what was happening over here. And this is see how the ink runs along with the grain. It just runs with the grain. I love it. Y'all know I love alcohol ink anyway. Especially in resin. And I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to get some more money so I can buy me some more molds. And when I get these other molds, I'm really going to be playing around in the resin again. Because y'all know... I was all up in the resin. And don't forget the um the mica powders in the resin cuz I like those too. Let's see. See how it runs with the grain.
So if I turn it this way and drop it, it's going to leave globs. Because, see, it's still... Where's that purple? Doo -doo. That's blue. I could put that in there. And I'm not dropping it the way that the grain is going. Well, I am actually, because I'm still holding it down a little bit. I always come back to that which is familiar. This is my one of my favorite. And I should have put yellow in here. Now this is a different yellow. This is lemon. Let's see. Did I ever use this one before? I'll put the lemon in there. Try to get something else in there. I know this is boring, y'all, but this is what I'm doing tonight, and then I'm going to bed. This would be pretty probably with yellow and orange. I'll try to make it look like a sunset. I think that would be so pretty. See, it doesn't take long with alcohol ink to get these colors in. See what I mean? This is so pretty. Now this... I can make a coaster with. The other thing I just did, no way. You see how pretty that is? Now these are the new ones. I never tried these before. And just that little bit made a difference. Just that little bit. This yellow is kind of light. So I'm going over it again because it's kind of light. See? Now that's pretty. Hey! Hey, Michigan Bread, how you doing? Michigan red. I said Michigan bread. <laughs> Love you too. Please keep me in your prayers. Because I'm sitting here right now and I'm hurting like crazy. But I didn't want to lay in the bed. I just didn't feel like laying in the bed. Sometimes the bed can be depressing and I just didn't want to do it. I saw your message on Instagram, Butter. I mean, I called you butter. What are you doing? Oh, I saw your message on Instagram, butter. I keep calling you butter. <laughs> Bread. <laughs> I keep calling you butter. See how this is? So the yellow is a little more runny and it's trying to dry, but I'm blowing it with this hand blower. So I got this hand blower off of Amazon and I like it better than the can blower. It's more work. It's like one of those baby things that you use to clean out a baby nose. 
And people use these, but they have different techniques in using them. This is the can, and this is the one that you're not supposed to shake. But it has a stronger blow to it. It's a pressure blow. It's a pressure blow, so it can move things around a little bit better. Now, I ain't going to say better, but just differently. It moves things around differently. So that's how that looks. And this is still looking kind of white to me. I don't like that. I mean, that's a... I'm going to leave it like that, though. I'm going to leave it like that. Girl, that looks like a baby. That's what I just said. It looks like a baby aspirator. It does. But if you look at alcohol ink um, tutorials, that's what a lot of people are using. These, or they'll use this duster right here and let me tell you those duster things are not cheap so this one you can use repeatedly you can use this over and over again but that duster stuff honey i'm about to leave that at the store because that stuff costs a lot and um then you can also use the blower the hot air blower you can use that as well but where is I don't feel like plugging it up. But this is going to be gorgeous when I put the um, epoxy on it. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Well, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I don't know. But she said it appears to have more force than the aspirator. It does. The can has more force. It does have more force than the, asp than the aspirator. But... Um, I like the aspirator because it blows it. I can control the aspirator better. Let's say that. I can control the aspirator better, um, than I can this. And then I did, I did this with the can when I put that thing on there. But I really want to try what that lady did. And that lady actually... Um, see, like these, I'm going to make these a set for real. Look, look at the other side. The lady actually took a cup and she put alcohol in it and she put alcohol ink in it and she, um, poured it on and spread it and then blowed it, blew it. I said blowed it, blew it with the can i'm gonna try it one more time i mean these things cost six for a dollar quarter so i can get some more but i just want to try this because i'm really curious as to how she did this she put she put alcohol ink and i think i put too much in there so i'm just gonna put a little bit in it now let's just try to put some alcohol ink in there okay now, this is alcohol and alcohol ink, okay? I just want to make sure. Okay. Now, I'm going to pour some on here. Can y'all see that? Pour some on there. Like that. And then, I'm going to use the sprayer. See, that didn't do anything but at least it's darker because it's not that much uh, I didn't use as much alcohol this time so let's see what this does that basically blew it in a straight line it didn't really blow it anywhere because I'm still learning y'all I'm just trying to figure out how to do this and that's just a little bit so I'm put some over here and see can I blow it okay there you go but see see how fast that dries see how fast that dried you really have to get it on there and put a lot 
see how fast that dried? And I really didn't get a chance to blow it like I wanted to because it dried so fast. And then I put that on there. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't like it. So I did it that way. I don't like it. So let's practice with this then. Let's pour it on here like this and see which one blows better. Okay. You have more control with the aspirator, but y'all, I'm just playing around. See how that blew that like that? All right, let's try this. I'm gonna try the pink over here. Look how fast that dried up, don't worry. I'm trying to get it right here. Now, now this is not me using full pressure with the blower, okay? When I use full pressure on it, it spreads wider. If I just press on the can a little bit, it spreads it a little differently. Y'all saw that. Let me try this again. Right here in the pink. Y'all, we're just trying. Now, see how? See how it pushes it like that? If I just use the loop. I'm pressing it lightly. And when you press it lightly, it moves it differently. You saw how that just pressed it a little bit. And it moved it differently with the alcohol. So the, the spray can be, it can be a good thing to use, but you have to know how to manage the different... You got to learn how to, I said this made an eagle. Y'all don't, don't that look like an eagle? That look like an eagle? Y'all know darn well that don't look like an eagle. But you see what I'm saying? You can take the alcohol, drop the color, take the sprayer and just move it a little bit. Don't blow it hard. Do it in spurts. See, that's the heavy pressure. The heavy pressure you just got to learn how to use this thing. See, because I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I said, let's play with it. The wood soaks it up very quickly. It does. Butter, will you hold the front of the canned air container up? It's called Dust Off. I got this from Walmart. And I got a two-pack. I know you loving all that blue. <laughs> I got this from Walmart. It came in a two-pack can. Now, with this, you cannot shake it. You can't shake it. This is um, Freon. I believe it's Freon. Because if you shake it, or when you start spraying it, the can gets cold. And that's what Freon does. So... 
you can use this on um i saw some people do it on canvas now i haven't tried the canvas yet because i've been super 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 scared to try the canvas because canvas costs more than a dollar and a quarter <laughs> that's why i don't mind trying it on the um I don't mind trying it on those little wood planks because, hey, it's six for a dollar and a quarter. But baby, you know canvas is not cheap. And I actually, I actually bought a canvas to do it. And I don't know where that canvas is, but I literally bought a canvas for that. And I don't see my canvas. So, the people that I would ask where my canvas is are not here. <laughs> but I did buy one for that purpose. I did. <sighs> I don't see it, but I bought a um, canvas for that. And, of course, it's not in the bag that I used but here's the canvas call me crazy if you want to but I haven't tried a canvas and now's a good time to try it should I or should I it's compressed air but I believe it's Freon because the can is freezing um it says, it says, da, 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 da. do not shake. Keep can upright. Clear nozzle while pointing towards open area. Da, da. Hold three to four inches away from object. Okay. Never shake or tilt can before usage. Use in upright position only. Never use near a potential ignition source. Never spray into an enclosed space such as a trash can or paper shredder. Avoid skin contact with product. Okay. Did you know a 10 ounce can has an average of 100? Okay, I don't want to know that. I want to know what's in it. It says home and office electronics, household cleaning, arts and crafts, automobiles, DIY project. Caution. Keep out of reach of children. Yada, yada, yada. Um, the intentional misuse by deliberately inhaling. Well, we know not to do that. But I want to see what's in this mess. And this thing says, um, when I went to purchase this, they had to have the people come over and, um... The manager had to come over and unlock the machine because when I scanned it, it locked the machine up because they have to make sure you're an adult. They didn't ask me for my ID, though. So it says contains. I can't diff. I'm not even going to say it because I can't. D I F L U O R O E. T H A N E. Defluorothane. Okay. Defluorothane. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to inhale this, but. Anyway, so the can is cold right now. It's cold. And I keep forgetting not to shake it. You're not supposed to shake it. Okay, so, uh, here is the project that I'm going to try. I've not, I'm going to use this. Yep, I sure am. I'm going to use it. I am. I'm going to use it, and we're going to see what happens. Okay? And all right. And be cool. Okay? So I'm going to use that and I'm going to use the hand compressor. Now I don't know how quickly 
alcohol ink absorbs into canvas so are y'all ready are y'all still here let me know i'm gonna start with blue blue michigan red are you still there michigan red Okay, let's see, because I'm going to try it. I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know if I should do it, but I'm going to. Because you don't know until you learn. Right? You have to practice, right? Right. So. Oh, I'm so scared. Let's see. Because I don't know if I should put alcohol on it or what. I'm going to put alcohol. Let me. Let me just try the alcohol right there. I don't think y'all can see it, but... Uh-oh. We dropped it. Uh-oh. Let me hold this closer. Can y'all see that? It's pushing it around, but... My hand is like, mm -mm, we're not going to do it. That's what my hand is doing, but let me see. Let me see what happens if I do it with the... Uh oh Okay, I like the aspirator. If you take your time with this, you can really make a pretty art piece. You got to know what direction that you want it to go in. Uh-oh. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that. It didn't even really soak through the other side. Okay, freaking frack. Let's try this. Okay, that I didn't put any alcohol on that one. Look how that. Oh, that almost looks like a butterfly. Now that was with without alcohol. Look at that. Uh oh. Come on, Gina. We might be on to something here. Look at that. Look how that just blows that around on the canvas. Now, this is without the alcohol. This almost looks like a butterfly right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but look at that. So, this is without alcohol, and that's with alcohol. Let me squirt alcohol right here. See what it does. Uh-oh. Let's see. That's with the alcohol. Let's try it one more time without the alcohol. See, this is, yeah, this is, look at how it does that. Look how it just does that. That's weird to me. What if you put one coat of white paint on the canvas first? If you coat the canvas first, maybe it won't soak in so quickly. It's not really soaking in that quickly. But I could try it with the white paint. And see what the white paint does. And let it dry? Am I supposed to let it dry? Let me see. Uh oh.
you really have to have good um you really have to have good uh powerful hands <laughs> to use this with the aspirator because unless you know exactly what you're doing because as you all can see i have no idea what i'm doing but I'm playing around with it because I want to see. Like I want to use that. Let me use the can. The can is. Somebody was like, are you in preschool? Because your picture looks like you're in preschool. So try it both wet and dry. Maybe it will start something new. Okay, let me go get some white paint. Hold on. Let me go get some white paint. White paint. I don't think I was going to find any white paint, but I have some. Okay. Let's try. Since Michigan Red is on the prowl over here. I'm going to try. She said, what? Karen Hardy. Hi, Karen. You can also try my punch. Okay, we're going to try both. We're going to try both right now. If I can get this white paint open. Which I don't know. Okay. Let's try. Y'all, we experiment together. Karen, how would varnish affect it? That sounds interesting as well. Okay, so. Since we already messed up this side. I'm going to turn it over this side. And we'll put some paint right there i hope y'all can see it i'm gonna paint it let me move these out the way because these are in the way now i can't see it all right y'all let's do this this is live this is what happened live Karen also suggested varnish too. Let's try it. Oh, I don't have any varnish. The varnish will allow the, the ink to dry. Okay, I don't have any varnish. I have my Podge and I have paint. So this is this is the paint. You want me to try the paint wet? Okay, I'm gonna try the paint wet. So this is the white paint right here. Let's try the paint wet. And then I'll try the Mod Podge. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's see. They ain't really doing no better than the other one. This is with the white paint, but look how it runs quicker. What's up with these crazy looking splatters? So it dries just as fast with the wet, with the paint. Y'all see that? Maybe I didn't use enough paint. Let's try some more paint. Cause that really didn't do anything. I know people gonna look at this video and be like, that lady is nuts. But I'm not. I'm just trying something. And this will be something that I'll be like, you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. 
Okay, now it's really wet. Let's see what happens. It's doing the same thing, y'all. And it sucks it up even faster. With this, with the paint. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna try my pot. Because, um, oh, that's Waverly. Should I try chalk paint? Let me try chalk paint. Do I have, I don't have nothing to lose. Let's see. Nope, I'm not gonna try that. That's not open. That's not open. Uh, this is my podge. Oh. Yo, everything's so hard to open. Everybody's gone too, y'all, so I can't get anybody to help me. Okay, this is my pot. I'm going to put my pot down here. Huh? What about mixing a dab paint with the ink, then blowing it? All right, we can try that too. Right now, we just experimenting, y'all. That's all we're experimenting. And I'm, I'm tired, like, okay, this is my podge. So let's see what my podge does. Wet, wet my podge. And we're going back in with the blue. Same thing, it's just not, yeah, it's not really, oh, y'all probably can't even see that. It's not doing, it's just, mm -mm. it's not cool. So let me, hold on. I don't know if that's going to work. Let me try. I don't know if that's a, a thing. All right. I tried it with the alcohol ink. I mean, with the regular ink. I mean, alcohol. I'm tripping. All right, let me... I'm going to spray some ink right here. And then I'm going to dot like that. And then I'm going to blow it. See, and then it don't want to blow. See, you got to... y'all can see this I'm not doing it it's not I'm not impressed with either one but are you like a man said I'm like the mad scientist right now. <laughs> I am. Look, I'm going to try it with triple thick. I done messed up the canvas now, so what the heck. Let's see. This is triple thick. I'm going to triple thick and see what it does in triple thick. Now I'm really being the mad scientist with the triple thick. Let's see what that does. Come on, triple thick. Y'all, nothing is working. What is this? What's happening over here? I'm going to delete this video because this is a whole fail. What is going on? So, the dry method didn't work. The wet method isn't working. Okay, so look. 
the can is spraying the yellow. I didn't put anything on that spot right there. I'm a, Let me see. Can y'all see this? I'm going to put some black. Look, I'm going to put the black right there. Yeah, that looked real scary. Okay. Do it like that. Put some ink in it. And then blow it. I mean, it's moving it around, but look how shallow it looks. It looks really... It's not really... Yeah, I don't think alcohol ink painting is for me. <laughs> I don't think our alcohol ink painting is for me at all. And the yellow still is wet. Thing is, it's not blowing nowhere. That's the yellow. Let's try this and see what it does. I think I'm just not pouring enough. I think I'm not pouring enough ink. I'm just pouring a little dumb dot. I think I'm not pouring enough to make it do something. And the yellow's still running. I don't like this, um, that could be something cute, though. This is back up here where the paint is. So, let's see what happens. Okay. I could let it just run around by itself. It's not a fail, sis. It's an experiment. It's <laughs> you need to let it dry first before dropping the ink. Well, we're going to be here all night if I let it dry. So this is the... Um, over here, this is the... Uh, what did I call it? Uh, triple thick. This is the triple thick. And look at that. That didn't do anything. It spread it, but it's not trying to go like in different directions. This is the triple thick. Now, there's another part to this thing. Um, when I got this blower thing, it has these markers. They're not markers. I don't. I guess that's like if you put the ink down, you can make designs. But the thing about these is that's like a little brush. Now these, it's three of these came in a package. I think you have done an amazing job, Butter. And thank you for this wonderful upload, sister. It's comic relief, actually. <laughs> it's comic relief. But somebody crazy might decide they like this painting and want to buy it for $1,000. So I'm not going to throw myself under the bus. I'm not going to throw myself under the bus. I'm not, oh, that's a genius painting. And they might hang it right up in their gallery and get a million dollars for it. Huh. Don't call me delusional. Now, look. I just did that. And you could just take the alcohol ink with the pen and just make something. You could just make your own you know what? I like that better. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Now, I just used a paintbrush. Oh, you could do that. 
You could use a paintbrush. See this, I, I didn't use that little spongy thing that I just showed y'all. You could just take this and just, you know, alcohol it again and just be like, you know, I'm just going to make me a nice painting because nothing else worked. So let me just make a painting. I'm just playing around because everything else failed, so. You could just make a paint. Y'all can tell I'm not, I'm a crafter. I'm not a painted painter. I'm not an artist and I don't pretend to be one, but I wanted to try this because I see a lot of people using this. Look, you could, oh, you know what y'all? Guess what? This other alcohol ink is for painting. I'm not using that one right now, but. I'm just basically showing y'all how you can take the alcohol ink and paint with it. So you can just do all kinds of things with it and make yourself a little nice portrait. Just take the inks and mix them up. Start in the middle and make a... See? I think it's going to be beautiful, especially... As you add more colors, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be one of those paintings that somebody's going to say, can, can you send that painting to me? I'm going to be like, absolutely. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it just like that to them. I'm going to say, absolutely. And they're going to be like, well, thank you, sis. And I'm going to be like, you're welcome. Look at the green. Look at the green. Look at the green. But like, is that all she know how to do is make strokes like that? No, but look. You can paint with it. You could actually paint the canvas with this. A pretty color like this green. And then you can go back over it with whatever. I'm just covering the canvas right now. That's what I'm trying to do. Child, like, is she high? Nope. She don't get high. She just bored. And you put the green down here at the bottom. This is called stress painting, y'all, because I don't know what I'm doing. the green down the bottom and just make you a pretty picture. That's it. This is crazy. And look, this is still wet. So, you just get in there and make it do what it do. Spray your little ink on alcohol on there. Re-wet it. Look. Can y'all see that? Now, I re-wet it. See what I can do with this blob right here. Because I re-wet it. So, this could be called when my lupus flares up. That's what this could be. This is a lupus flare. Yeah, call it lupus flare painting. Call it a lupus flare. <laughs> because this is how I feel in my body. Okay? Just like this. It's a lupus flare. Alright, I'm going to try this again when I feel better. Because I do have more canvases. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some people who do alcohol ink. And not just do it on a spur. I'm going to really have stuff to do. Okay, because this right here is a mess on top of a mess on top of a mess. And Michigan Red is just being sweet because you know this painting is jacked up.
This is a prank, y'all. It's like, no, it's not. So, this is how I feel. I'm just going to look at some more videos. And then we're going to figure this out one another day. I'm probably not going to do it live, though. I'm probably just going to do a video. But it's going to take me a while, though, because... This, this is something that you really have to take time and do because alcohol ink dries really quickly, but I like playing with it on the wood. That's my favorite type of material to use is the wood. Even though... I mean, if you mess with it long enough, it'll turn out to be something. You don't know, but it will. That's what makes it art. Is that the... Is that... Philadelphia Eagles color? No. Well, that green, not really. They have a new color called... Um, Hunter Green. I mean, it's similar to this. They probably will like it. Yeah. They probably will like this color. If I put this on the whole canvas and put an eagle in the middle of it, somebody will probably buy it. I wouldn't be surprised if everybody left off the off of this live now because this is a whole mess. Mm -hmm. Now there's some paint. It's really some of this stuff over here that says paint. Nope, this is less resin. I'm just going to cover this. And I don't care how it looks. That color is pretty. Look. If I could get this, these blobs off of here. Oh, my hand's cramping. Time to go. <laughs> it's time to go, baby. The hand is cramping. I actually like the fact that you can put the alcohol ink on here and spread it. You can put the ink. You can get back to the ink and do that. Now. See all those colors? You can still add more color to that canvas and make it look amazing. Yeah, I will have to be intentional about that because right now I'm just not intentional. I'm just making more of a mess and don't know what I just did with the alcohol. Oh, here it is. I'm really feeling that green though. I'm feeling that green because it's not blue or pink. Those blue and pink, those are really my go-to colors. But if you mix this up like this. But you know what? I could actually take this um, canvas and... I could paint it over once it dries. I could paint it white and just paint over it with some chalk paint. Just take some chalk paint and paint over this. 
Oh, yeah. And this will be... See all of these colors? Nobody knows why these colors are back here. So, this could be a whole other thing going on over here. Be like, oh, well, what's all that stuff in the background? They don't know. And then I'm just mixing it. I'm being goofy right now, y'all, but... This could be a, a summer picture to go on the wall. Somebody said, well, what, what was your inspiration? Like, there was none. But this is what we're doing. This is how my brain feels when I'm having a flare. <laughs> Just so y'all know, it feels all type of crazy when I'm having a lupus flare, honey. This is what goes on in my mind when I'm having a lupus flare. Nothing makes sense when you're having a lupus flare. You just cry and try to stop the thoughts in your head. You try to make it make sense. And it never does, no matter how hard you try. And then you cry a little bit more. And then you want people to leave you alone. And they don't. Because they want you to be okay. And this is it. <laughs> I'm a clown for this. I am a clown for this. I'm a whole clown for this. Yes. I'm a whole clown for this. I'm a whole clown for this. I could see if anybody turned into this and look at the comments, they're going to clown me. There you go, Michigan Red. You can still add more colors. I got to make some lists for my church so I'll come back and see the ending later love you much and have a great evening everyone abundant blessings to you abundant blessings to you too she probably going but a blood abundant blessings to you too michigan red big sis all right and look the paint never went through the other side barely it did barely that's cool Okay, so this is what it came to. And on that note, I'm going to bed. Because I have completely, thoroughly embarrassed myself. But you can paint with alcohol ink. That's really cool, though. You can paint with alcohol ink. Okay. If you can't use the can and the, the hand pump to spray... Just use the alcohol ink to paint. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, y'all. That's it for tonight. It's really junky up in here, but... That's what I came up with. Thank you for watching. I hope you tune in again. Don't think I'm so crazy that you can't tune in. Tune in again and watch the foolishness. Okay. Good night, everybody. Love you. Thank you for watching. Now I got to put all this mess away. <laughs> it's all right, though. It's all right. It's okay. Ugh. I don't know how to turn it off.
<laughs> How do you turn it on?